Alrighty then, this is going to be a quick assembly and dis disassembly of the Marlin Model 15YN, also known as the Marlin Cricket, single shot, bolt action 22. Now first things first, you want to remove the bolt from the gun. Make sure the chamber is empty, pull the trigger all the way back, bolt slides free. This is really simple. You need a flathead screwdriver. There's one screw on the bottom. Unscrew said screw. said screw is unscrewed the barrel pops away that's as far as I will be taking this apart I'm not taking the trigger mechanism off I'm not taking the barrel off this is all you really need to do however I will be taking this out twist that there's your shell ejector slash side firing pin and there is a small plastic piece down in the loading well slash ejecting chamber, whatever you would like to call that, that pops out. So be careful that doesn't come out on you. I usually like to pop it out on purpose to make sure I don't lose it. Looks like that. Don't know how well you can see that. But this is mainly to show you how to take apart and put back together the bolt, which is what I had problems with. And I couldn't find any videos on, so I figured I would make my own because Getting it down to this is very simple. So you'll want yet another small flathead screwdriver. And you've got one small screw right there. You want to unscrew that. Actually, hang on, give me a sec here. I need a spot where you guys can actually see this. Can avoid doing that. And you'll see that little pop right there. That is the spring releasing. So pull that out. And that is basically the striker that hits the firing pin. So now this is a very small screw in here. Definitely don't want to lose it. There we go. As you can see, very small. Do not want to lose it. Now, where I came into a problem with was getting it back together. Because it's easy to just slide that back in there. But the problem is, you got to line your holes up. Hole right there, and I dropped it. Lovely. And hole right there. So those two holes have to line up. Here's your problem. It hits. So you've got your little. That little nipple right there. Well, that little nipple needs to sit right up in here. Problem is, you can't do that and line those two holes up. So there's a slot. So slide that little nipple down into the slot. And that should let you line up your holes. Now what you got what you gotta watch out for is this little ring right here, it'll move. So you might have to twist it back around until it's lined up with that red bit right there. Sorry, I'm not very good at this. So line those up. Slide that down into the gap. And if you look down in there, you can just barely see the glint of shiny metal means you are ready to put your screw back in. I 
here's your problem. Yeah, at least here's the problem I have. Take it like that. When you try to slide the bolt in, you only get to there. Because that's hitting. You need this little nipple right here to line up with the slot on the bottom here. Now if you try to do that like this, you end up with some kind of contraption like that. That doesn't work. What you have to do is pull this out. And when you do so, it'll slide up the angled face of this and lock in to that cap up there. Now the problem is, it's spring held. So it's kind of hard to do that. Easiest way I found it was, now this is just the inside of some cording that I had laying around from a different project. Take some cording and tie yourself a solid loop. You can tie the same knot on tying. Can't remember the name of it, but I use this loop for just about everything. Cinch that tight, and it'll cinch down on itself. Take your edge, loop it down into there. And then obviously you can do this with any cord, but this is just what I had laying around. That will cinch down on itself, and then all you have to do is firmly grip the bolt. Give this a couple of wraps around your hand and pull. I might take a time or two for it to properly line up. But as, and you can hear the click. It doesn't take too much force. Now if you're younger you might have a little bit of a problem pulling that apart and controlling it. You might, you might have to have a, a, somebody order help you with it. Loosen the loop, and there you go. Now we're back to the reassembly. First things first, got your little plastic bit. Center it like that. Slide it down in. You can see the hole right there. Right there. That little nipple right there goes into the hole. So you slide it in. And into the hole. Take your ejector piece and slide it on, down facing. You might have to twist it around a little bit to figure out where it slips in. There you go. And then you can twist it around. Take your bolt, slide it in, pull your trigger back so you can slide the bolt all the way up. Now you simply sit back down here, grab your stock line everything up, got a big pin there, got a hole in the center, line those two up, slap it right back in there, take your one single main bolt, slide it back down in, oh and by the way, using the cord to pull that apart, I'm sure it's not the most efficient method, if you guys know of any other, of any better ways, please feel free to comment and let me know. That's just the way I figured it out. Now, with all of my guns, once I am done cleaning them, I take a spent, clearly spent casing, depending on what I'm using, load it, fire it. And test the eject system. Clean eject. Double hit. This is Michael 416's assembly dis and disassembly on the Marlin Model 15YN Cricket. Thank you.